Hey guys, it's me, Nicole, and today we have a Goodwill Outlet haul video. So if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, thanks for clicking on the button and for watching this video. I am a full-time reseller. I go to thrift stores, I take the things I find at thrift stores, and I sell them on sites like Poshmark, ThreadUp, directly through Instagram. I have quite a few different ways that I sell things, but my main selling platform is Poshmark. If you don't know about the Poshmark app, it is for fashion and now they've expanded into home goods as well. And I love it. <laughs> so anyway, I sell on Poshmark. Um, this haul is for Goodwill Outlet. And if you don't know what a Goodwill Outlet is, it's a place where Goodwill sends either stuff that's been at the store for too long or stuff that they didn't process or stuff they didn't want at their stores. Um, and it is referred to as the bins because everything rolls out in these big giant blue bins. And then you kind of pick through everything. Um, ours charges $1.30 a pound for textiles and shoes, things like that. Some other things are different priced, but I pay $1.30 a pound as long as I get 25 pounds. If I don't get 25 pounds, it's like two something a pound. So I always get 25 pounds. I got about 70 pounds last time I was there, which is great. And there is some fun, um, there's some fun backstories here. So we're gonna talk about that. So I woke up from a text to, that's not how I wanted it to sound. I woke up to a text from a good friend and she was at the outlet and she was like, come down here right now, it's really good. Um, and so I literally got up, I threw on some clothes and I drove the 10 minutes to my closest outlet and it was great. I got about 70 pounds. I spent just under a hundred dollars for everything you're gonna see. So probably more than 70. What is the math on that? I don't have the receipt right in front of me, but I did really good. I spent like $99. Great. I was there for three or four hours. It definitely, you know, this is probably 0.08% of what I actually dug through is stuff that I took home with me. It's a really fun treasure hunt, but I think I did good. So um, one of the things, my favorite thing I got that I'm probably going to keep for myself, it is damaged and I don't really care, but you know. Um, so I, my friend actually had this, the one that called me and it was on her shoulder and I was like, what? You found that? That's so crazy. Great find. And then we were sorting our cards and she's like, yeah, I don't actually want this because of the damage on it. I wanted what was inside of it, <laughs> which it was a couple brand new with tag bags. Like there was a brand new with tags coach bag and then, um, a Victoria's Secret like duffel bag something else too so she didn't want this so i was like i'll take it so this is a tory birch tote these retail for 200 dollars. they're still on the website i know right however it is damaged like she said so the bottom definitely has damage right there um it's not a hole but the vinyl is damaged and the nylon is you know not in the best shape so it also needs to be cleaned she does not like cleaning things in detail so even if that wasn't there all of these scuffs that are on it that i can easily take off with a mr clean magic eraser she wouldn't have wanted so anyway i was like yes i'll take that tory birch bag it is authentic i love it i'm really excited i'm gonna clean it up and then just kind of use it as a nice tote for myself so that's really cool yay i love finding things like that um she also gave me this bag it isn't anything amazing, but it is a nice Nike uh, duffel gym bag. It's just a cute pink Nike duffel bag. Really, really good condition. And I know I will be able to find a home for this. And even if I, I might keep it. I don't like pink. I'm going to try and sell it, I think, because I'm not like a pink person. But it's really, really nice. And I definitely need a gym bag. Um... This probably isn't the one I'm going to take home with me. It's pretty recent, too. I'm trying to find the date on it. Anyway, so this is a nice Nike duffel, and it's super lightweight, so it probably cost me about a dollar to buy this. I'll list it on Poshmark for 35 So let's talk about shoes. So she originally texted me because she knows that I love to sell shoes and they were rolling out some really good shoes. I did miss most of the good shoes that she had been getting. She did give me a couple pair, um, but I still did really good. I got two big bags of shoes 
and lately shoes have been my favorite favorite thing so let's dive in here these someone threw back um but i looked them up so someone threw these back my goodwill wanted 20 dollars for these they're like a super super soft leather and i had never heard of the brand before it's called chocolate blue you'll be able to see that my lighting is kind of weird today i have a ring light but part of the ring light went out so i need to replace it i gotta figure out how to do that or how to fix it um but they're these super soft leather shoes when i looked these up they were still on Nordstrom's website for full price, like the full line Nordstrom's website for full price for I think $120. So that was cool. That was a good sign when something is still available on the mainline site. It means that it's a current style. So these are a size 10, which is also my size. I kind of want to try them on. I bet they're super comfy. Um, and I don't know, I'll, I'll list them on Poshmark. They are very comfortable, I just put it on my foot. I'll list them on Poshmark and see how they do. Let's see here. Um, I got these Cole Hans. So these are just like a nice block heel, what is that, like a loafer style Cole Han shoe. But they're in really, really good shape. Again, my Goodwill wanted $20 for those. That's what that XX means. You can see the price tag in there. Maybe it won't focus, but yeah, I'll probably sell these for 20 bucks, to be honest with you. They're size seven. Really cute. Uh, she did give me these, so that was cool. Uh, these are the Prada shoes that she had texted me. Hey, I found Prada shoes. <laughs> They're older. So these are an older style. I like to call these like the bottlenose dolphin style. It is a style that Prada made, but they still sell. I'll still sell these for probably $30 to $50. So they're just a Prada shoe. There we go. Prada. Size 37. It's not focusing. Um, there is some damage. It's like a scuff on the leather on this toe. But I think I can clean that up. I've gotten really good at cleaning shoes lately. So there we go. Prada. That's a great find. And the bottoms are in really good shape. Little kitten heel. Again, not like I'm getting hundreds of dollars for these Prada shoes because they are an outdated style, but there is a nice working woman, maybe not working, who knows. There is someone out there who wants these and I will give, I will let her buy them for me. These Sam Edelman flats I grabbed just because these always do well for me. This style of flat from Sam Edelman. And I've never found the stripey pair before, but I sell these in black. I sold them in black quite a few times. They're usually an easy $20 to $25 flip. And when I'm paying a dollar, less than a dollar, these weigh nothing. Um, I'll take it. These are nine and a half. And if you're ever interested in anything in my hauls, you can email me, Mrs. Nicole State at Gmail. The email's down below. You can um, let me know on Instagram, all that good stuff. These are just universal thread mules, which is you know, Target. But how cute are these? Perfect for fall. Leopard print is super in right now. And they are brand new. They still have tags on them from Target. They're also my size. So let's try them on. Maybe with a like cute black jumpsuit, these would be amazing. They're on my feet right now. A uh, pair of Uggs. I did find a lot more Uggs. You guys, have you been watching my videos lately? You know that Uggs have been coming out in abundance at my Goodwill outlet. I think it's because what they do for e-com, the e-com site is attached to my um, outlet, so the goodwill.com. And I think what they do at stores is they tell all the stores to pull the Uggs, and then they put all the Uggs into Gaylords, and then what they can't use for e-com goes into my bins. So if they're damaged or a little bit more worn than they want them to be, they'll pull them and throw them into the bins. Um, but, you know, I've become a pro at cleaning Uggs, so... <laughs> These are in really good shape though, super soft. They're the Bailey Bows, size eight. We have a pair of Crocs. You guys, I always pick up Crocs if they're in good shape, uh, especially like the casual like flats and stuff like that. They are an easy $15, $20 flip. These are Bevel. I think these are sold at um, Anthropology, And they're just like a red leather wedge perfect for fall. They kind of have this perforated leather, round toe, really good condition. 
Uh, someone gave me these for Ralphers because they needed to be clean. There's just mud on the bottom of them and they're kind of heavy. So a lot of people at my bins don't want to buy the heavier items, but I'll totally take a pair of Sorel boots. So these aren't like the trendy Sorel boots. These are definitely like a utilitarian Ugg, or a Sorel woman size 10. But fall and winter are coming. These will do well. Next up, another bag of shoes. These are acorns. These are just slippers. They, I'm like brand new. I can never list them as brand new, but they're men's acorn slipper. Uh, who sells these? There's like a, someone who sells these. They're popular though. I've always been able to sell them. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of rearranging the bag so I can reach easier. Sorry. These were really cool. These were someone's throwback and I was like, oof, I have to grab these. I, they're basketball shoes. They're women's like breast cancer. Um, crushed, they're crushed velvet, you guys. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a really pretty light pink crushed velvet, maybe even purple. They need to be washed. That's not a big deal to me. Um, it says Katie in memory of Aunt Pearl, who inspired us all to continue to fight for a cure. They're a size 5 youth, which is like a woman's, what is that, like a woman's 7 or something. Um, but yeah, they're really cute. I looked up comps. Comps were awesome. And I'm excited to get them cleaned up. These are Steven by Steve Madden. Steven is Steve Madden's higher end brand. Um, there's the tag. It's an older tag, I think. They're cute. They're just a, like, point toe lace-up. Looks like a flap, but it actually has the hidden wedge inside of it, which is a keyword, hidden wedge. Really cute suede. These are a size, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> seven. Size seven. Another pair of flats. Lots of velvets and stuff. Um, definitely trying to pick up pieces that are on trend. These are Circus by Sam Edelman. Circus is the lower end brand, but they are a pair of purple crushed velvet ballet flats. Then we have a pair of Uggs. These are just little kid. They're the Lattice Cardi Knit Uggs. What size are you? They're a size two. I might give these to Delilah. How cute are these? I'll have her try them on too if she likes it. We have a pair of um, sandals. These are saltwater sandals. I will almost always pick these up if they're in good condition. They have a cult following. They're size four. Someone will buy those for 15 to 20 dollars. These are a pair of Uggs. They are a like slouchy perforated suede fancy Ugg with the leather sole. Pretty cute. Their size there you go. Size nine. And then we have these Kenzie Mule. They're not mules. What are these? Maybe they're mules? I don't know. They're eight and a half. So I wish they fit me. I really like them. So these are Kenzie. They're a suede, like a light pink, maybe a nude. I need to look at these in better light. But look at the scalloped edge on this. So cute, you guys. So, so cute. I love these. So I don't usually pick up Kenzie but I really like the style on this, and so I went ahead and grabbed it. All right, so those are all the shoes I got. Exciting, I know. Let's move on to the clothes. I did get some great clothes, so I'm excited to share. I'm gonna kind of just pile stuff on my lap and flip through it, because there is a lot. There's two giant zipper Ikea bags full of clothes. Also, someone's mowing their lawn right now, so I'm gonna shut the window. These are, also I'm back, hello. These are a Leaf's Daughter, which is anthropology. This is a tuxedo stripe pair of pants. There's a tag. Goodwill one in $7.99, no one bought these. And this is a cloth and stone tank. It's super lightweight, I love that. I probably paid like 20 cents for this. It's cloth and stone from Anthro. It's got this little tie side on this bottom. I don't know. Um, this is a Nike sweatshirt. I actually tried this on. I like it, but it's a little bit short because I'm tall. Um, Nike, I usually pick up this red label, Nike Tech. Nice sweatshirt. Size medium. We have, uh, what are you? 
Oh, there was some new tag stuff. Uh, this is a new tag White House Black Market dress. There we go. This is the older White House Black Market label, but it is a nice sweater dress. Perfect for fall. Another new tag item, I'm sure was from the same person, to be honest with you. This is a Banana Republic wrap dress in this geometric print. Again, perfect for fall. I love brand new tag items, of course. This is a Nike, again, this is the Nike Tech Fleece. Size large. It's kind of like the Windrunner style jacket. My son actually has this in a kid size. And this is something. What are you? Oh, you're a maxi dress by Bobu. I'm saying this wrong. I always say this wrong. Somebody can tell me how to say this right. Um, but this is just like a high low maxi tank dress from Nordstrom's. This is a Banana Republic dress, just like a black blassoon sleeveless dress. We have, I'm just like, there's, there's a chair behind me that I'm putting the things on. Oh, this is really cute. And I just untied it. This is Lush, which is sold at like Nordstrom Rack, but it's a really pretty dress and it has like the tie in between the breast, which I just think is so cute. More dresses, Banana Republic. This is a, what is this, a shirt dress. This plaid shirt dress is so perfect for fall. It's a size 14. It is really cute. That's my shuffle. A plain black pencil skirt from White House Black Market. I love selling career wear stuff. I've said it a thousand times on my YouTube channel. I'll say it again. Career wear stuff is great. People are who are especially starting off in the business world, they need business clothes. They don't want to spend a lot of money on business apparel. Places like Poshmark are the places to go. Eloquy plus size 18. This bell sleeve scuba style shirt. And then this is blue and gray, which is sold at Loft. You guys, this is their stuff is always so soft. So, so, so soft. I love it. We have a express sequin dress. Every time I see dresses like this, I just think like New Year's Eve, such a cute little party dress, the holidays. I know it's, you know, doesn't have any sleeves. It's cold, but you're inside a building. It's fine. Let's see what else is in here. I already kind of forgot because this is a couple days ago. It's been a wild week for me. This is just Old Navy, but it's perfect for fall. It is an extra large, long sleeve, like midi dress, really boho style. And it is, like I said, an extra large, which I'm always trying to find good pieces in the bigger sizes. Mm -hmm. This is a swimsuit from La Blanca. One piece women's swimsuit. And I will pick up some suits. I, I do pick them up. It has, it's very, this is very cute. Um, it's very flattering with the ruched sides. In really good shape. This is a Prana extra large white shirt. And there's a 50-50 chance that when I get this under my lights, I'll find something wrong with it. But until then, I'll be excited that I found it. This is funny. So I saw these rolling out in a new bin. My friend that had called me was across from me. I was on one side, she was on the other and the bins were rolling out and I saw this I saw just like this fabric who can guess what fabric this is and I was like oh right there right there get the thing get the thing but the way the bin was on her side she couldn't see it because it was kind of like on a it was on the other side of a mountain like there was things that were blocking her view and she like could not it was like the thing grab those so there was nothing exciting in front of my bin so I ran over and stood in front of hers because you have to wait till all the bins are out before you can grab anything and um, I grabbed these and they were exactly what I thought they were. Well, they brand, I didn't know what the style would be, but they are Barefoot Dreams. We all love Barefoot Dreams, it's so soft. And they're just a pair of pants. And honestly, if I wasn't gonna be judged, I would just live in these. However, they're very, they would be very, very high-waisted because like, still isn't so they would come up to like here which I'm fine with I'm actually pretty fine with covering my entire body in this fabric because it's so soft but I think they might be not my size so someone else will get them 
I think they might be not my size. That's what I just said. I know. Uh, this is just a pair of Nike dry fit running shorts. Exciting, I know. And this is, oh, brand new with tags. Just an ink from Macy's brand dress. So this is a flannel. Perfect for, what is it, fall? Levi's, extra large. I really like the colors on this. I don't always pick up Levi's items, but... I rarely pick up Levi's items, actually. I just really like the colors on this. This is a embroidered American Eagle Outfitters sweater. Has these really cool kind of bell sleeves and the heavy embroidery with the V-neck. And this is a, ah, what is this knit called? Ribbed, like a ribbed knit. Hold on, there's more stuff in here. Let's see if we can find out. My friend gave me a lot of stuff this day. She gave me this purse because it had, uh, needs to be cleaned and she doesn't like to clean things. It is a lamb, my Gwen Stefani purse. Um, not that popular anymore, this stuff. But, you know, it's really hard for me to pass this kind of stuff up at the bins because I feel like it's cute. I like the color block. It just retailed for so much money. Um, I think this will sell for like $20. So I'm not that like, I'm not head over heels, like so excited about it. This is actually how it goes on the front. You know, I bought it. These are a pair of padded bike shorts because I do cycling, I do spin classes and my butt hurts. So I've been buying these if they're in good condition for myself. These are, and they sell too. So these are just pearl, umizumi, whatever it's called padded bike shorts which I am so excited about because whew, let me tell you we do a lot of jumping in that class which means like you're up ba 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 butt hurts <laughs> these are soft surrounding or no this is XCVI these are a pair of pull-on pants the way this is dyed is a certain name that I'm forgetting off the top of my head this is a top shop Right, yep. Top shop uh, bodycon dress. We have a t-shirt. What are you? A Wilfred Free basic white V-neck t-shirt that I might just keep for myself. I need a new, a couple new basic white tees. Your Nike, more Nike tech stuff, I think. Yeah, I found a lot. Yes, this is easy money. Uh, Nike tech large zip up. I think this is a men's jacket. New tags. I think it's from that same lady who had the new tags dresses. Uh, Banana Republic size 12 blazer. Career wear. All right, one more big Goodwill bag to go. And then I'm going to go list all this stuff today. That's my goal. My goal is to list as much as possible today. Okay. Let's see. You are a dress from Old Navy. No, your shirt. I got this with the 4X. I love finding 3X, 4X, great sizes. Um, there's not, the market is less competitive in the bigger sizes. And there's lots of people who want really pretty things in bigger sizes. So I would be happy to provide it. This is a baby gap down uh, bunting bodysuit for the snow. It's got these little removable footies. And the season is coming up for that. A pair of pants for my son. Just a pair of jeans in his size. Maybe. Actually, I think he's bigger than this. Now. I think he's in a 10, 12. These are size 8. So 8 slim gap jeans. I'll sell on Poshmark. <laughs> this is a jacket. Very heavy jacket. What are you? I don't know what this is. This is a Tommy Hilfiger uh, woman's down jacket. It is very, very big and puffy. It's belted. Um, I don't always buy Tommy Hilfiger stuff, but this is a nice, this is a nice jacket. I didn't look up comps for this, that's for sure. And it is down filled. So yeah, hopefully this will do well. We'll see. We'll see. 
We have a shirt. Oh, I got this for my little friend. My Joe's cousin son loves Batman. This is just a little Batman shirt from Hannah Anderson. How cute is that? He's going to love it. I love Bodie. Bodie is his name. I'm madly in love with him. Uh, hey, hey. From Anthropology, a pair of shorts. Kyle's getting big out there. I'm nervous about it, to be honest with you. This is a cashmere sweater. It does have some peeling on it. I'll clean it up. I don't know the brand. Um, I can't read this. I'm going to have to research it. But it does say made in Italy, and it is 100% cashmere. If you know the brand, let me know. Um, it's so soft, you guys. I was like, even if I can't sell this... It is like a really gorgeous black cashmere sweater. Who doesn't want this in their closet? I do. So if it's not worth a lot, I've got myself a new sweater. Uh, bon 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 oh, Bose Men's V-neck sweater. An Ann Taylor Extra Extra Large black shirt with some cute bell sleeves. Again, great sizing. This is a Bowden sweater, like a chunky knit Bowden sweater. Look at that pretty teal on the brown. Their colors, like you just see the colors and you're like, oh, that's Bowden. Oh, that's Bowden. Soft surroundings. Soft surroundings. Pants. I'm running out of space for all this stuff. <laughs> ah! Okay, hold on. Let me, let me see what I got going on. Oh, a very, very lightweight, like this 50 cents maybe for this Nike jacket. It has a spot or two on it that needs to be washed off, like some food, but I'll take it. And then we have a Nike SB. Where did I buy this? Oh, I think it's because it's like current season. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 2019 SB. This would be great for like Plato's Closet. Um, men's hair neck. An Under Armour pair of compression shorts. Are they padded? They are. They're padded compression shorts. Um, size small. And this is a 41 Hawthorne blouse, which is Stitch Fix house brand. A house brand means that they manufacture it for themselves. REI shorts, girls size 10, 12. These will probably go into Lila's pile. She wears these. She goes to jujitsu and stuff and wears those. Um, <laughs> pole. I don't always buy this stuff, but I bought this. I just liked it. I like this sweater. It's like a hooded sweater. It's very nice. It's very nice. That's why I have to think about it. This is cool. This is brand new with tags. Men's 2XL fleece jacket. And I like the colors. It's like gray and green. It's brand new. Yes. Yes. Get in my life. All this brand new stuff today. A pair of exclusively Mazook extra large pants in black. I haven't found this brand in a while, actually. We have more Nike Tech. I found so much Nike Tech this day. It makes me so happy. This one is a United States uh, Paralympic team crew neck. Pretty cool in my opinion. Yeah. Oh, it has a pen mark on it. But I'm going to get some of that Ink Be Gone stuff on Amazon. I, um, I've heard people rave about it. So I'm going to try it out. I'll let you guys know how it goes. But it's called Ink Be Gone. I'll put it on my Amazon list down below. And hopefully I can get that out really easily. Oh, I was excited about these. These are Ted Baker swim shorts. Ted Baker, and they have little flamingos on them. How fun are those? And then we have a, C oh, I forgot I got this. Uh, C by Chloe. Hello. Um, this is just a blazer, but still, it's like a Chloe blazer. Yes. It makes me so excited to find this kind of stuff. Oh, it does not fit me. New, 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 new. Fat man in a little coat. Do, 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 do. I'm so glad you guys watch this channel. 
I give you all of the creditable information. You learned so much from me <laughs> in my dancing. Anyway, the Goodwill only wanted 10 bucks for this. No one bought it. It was at a store I had not been to, clearly. Really cute. Sorry, when I find $100, you know, like someone originally probably paid hundreds of dollars for that and I paid a dollar. It just makes me really giddy inside when that happens. Oh, I was so bummed because right when I was leaving, they rolled out some bins that had a ton of kids, Hannah Anderson stuff. But it was like all mishmashed all over the place and a bunch of people were grabbing it. So I found like a bunch of... I found some shorts, I found some pants, and I found some tops, but I didn't find the matching pieces to them. But I knew they were in there, so I just threw it back. Someone else will find it. But I found some, like, superhero ones that I was really sad to throw back. However, I did find these. Someone else found them, actually gave them to me. They're just super dino Hannah Anderson pajama set. You are a sweatshirt a columbia red hooded fleece jacket size eight and kids would be great for back to school i need to get that listed like right now oh a smart wool hat that's exciting i'm not gonna put it on my head i'll wash it i think i can wash this stuff hand wash cold yeah i'll just wash it but it's like a slouchy beanie hat from smart wool and this is a trina turk dress it has a slip and then this is with a the dress part of it. It's an older Trina Turk, but I still grabbed it. This would be like a great thread up piece, to be honest with you, because they'll put it on a mannequin. They'll make it look really nice. The problem is <laughs> if I sent this in to thread up, they would separate these and sell them as two different things. They're really bad at that. So I will not send that in a thread up. I only have a few more pieces. So hang with me, guys. Hang with me doing great these are nike sb men's pants that really need a lint roll these are a pair of ag the stevie slim straight these were sold at anthro once upon a time they're just green corduroy straight leg pants i just sold a pair of ag pants for 30 dollars when we were recording this video so i'll take it this was cool. Um, this is a compression suit in a size 4X. I looked up this brand and comps were amazing. So I-S-A-V-E-L-A. -E Remember that. Comps were great. There is a flaw. Like someone cut the arm right there. But I'm just going to cut it on the seam. I'm going to just sell it as is. And hopefully, I didn't notice the flaw until I got home. Hopefully, I'll still be able to get about $20 for it. There's a couple more items. Market and Spruce, which is, again, a Stitch Fix house brand. Just a cute little tank. And, uh, oh, this is mine. Someone gave this to me at the bins. This is another brand new tag haul from that same lady, I think. A bunch of, like, this is just ink career style dress. Last but not least, my new shirt. <laughs> if you know, I love this collaboration. It's the Forces Female. It was a Nike collaboration. And not a collaboration, but a Nike line. So this is a Nike The Force is Female t-shirt. Love it. I really want the shoes that come from this line. If you have them in a size women's 11, holler at me. I might be willing to buy them for me. There's a couple styles that I really like. So anyway, just like a nice black t-shirt so that's my haul thanks for watching thanks for hanging out you know there wasn't a ton of fun banter today you know i have a lot to get done <laughs> i really had to stay on task today um thanks for hanging out with me if you guys have any questions if you're interested in anything leave a comment down below and i will be back again soon with more videos i did a what sold video i just need to edit it and put it up so hopefully that will be up I don't know what kind of videos to make recently. I've kind of been in a rut. I've had a few people message me and be like, hey, you haven't put out videos much lately. I'm working on it. I am. So I'm going to Seattle on f in a couple days from when this video gets posted. I think I'm gonna go to the bins up there. So that will be a fun, hey, Seattle bins. This is what it's like. I live in Portland. They're about the same, to be honest with you. <laughs>
But hey guys, you know what? I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching this video. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Goodbye.